Today, the country is going to experience an amazing show of unity during the National Day Without Immigrants. CBS North Carolina's David Grisbowski joins us live here right in the studio with what organizers hope to accomplish today. Good morning. Russ, good morning. Dozens of businesses across our area and throughout the country are taking a financial hit today. Workers and their bosses are participating in today's National Day Without Immigrants. Organizers are trying to show the impact immigrants have on our nation's economy while also showing their opposition to President Donald Trump's immigration policies. In the triangle, at least 40 businesses plan to close. The owner of one of them says a lot of her customers are undocumented and that they worry about they'll be able to stay in the U.S. Uh, in the United States. Recent enforcement actions by Immigration and Customs Enforcement are putting a lot of immigrants on edge. We are people that work, pay taxes, and we're here uh, trying to grow our families, trying to do better for our families. We are good people. Everybody's concerned. A lot of people don't even want to go out. They, they don't want to, they don't, just don't want to go shopping or they are afraid to go to work because they don't know. If they One of those 40 restaurants closing here in the Triangle is Merritt's Store and Grill in Chapel Hill. They posted this message last night on Facebook saying they have decided to be, to be a part of the immigrant strike. They say 95% of their staff is Hispanic and will reopen on Friday. There will also be a rally here today in Raleigh this morning. That starts at 10 a.m. at Moore Square. Live in the newsroom, David Grzbowski, CBS North Carolina.